You're probably wondering what's in that big bag. Gonna get to that in a few seconds. But today is Saturday, April 16th. I never know what date it is. But Saturday, April 16th, I am taking a rest day today. Mentally, I think I need a little bit of break from the gym. I'm just going to work on stretching and foam rolling, getting my mobility down, because I really think that is important. So make sure you guys are incorporating that into your training days, whether it's before or after your training days, which you should do, or on your rest days. Just grab a foam roller, grab a band, get some stretching done. It really does truly help. But it is my rest day, so I am altering my macros just slightly, and it's not because it's my rest day and I want to change them. It's something I'll probably continue to do for the next week or so. I'm not going to mention what my macros are just yet. Wait till towards the end of the video and I will get to that, but let's open this package. <laughs> So if you couldn't tell, that's a camera bag. I wanted to get it because one, when I go to New York, wow, well, I'm really white. When I go to New York City, I want to bring my camera, tripods, all of that stuff so I can vlog. And I have like a book bag, but it's not as safe and like secure as a camera bag. But I'm a little confused because I think it's supposed to be a different color. So I'm looking it up of what I actually got. Because I think it's supposed to be like a gray and blue, not a black and blue. Yeah, so that's... The color. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but I'm gonna see if they have the exact color on here. Cause like here, when I look at it, it's gray and like a almost a baby blue. Doesn't say the color, but I mean, whatever. Got here on time before I do leave. It is a flex amounts camera bag, so it's got accessory compartments, it's padded, it comes with a clip, and it's rainproof, which is pretty nice as a cover you can put on top of it. So. Going to show you guys that and kind of show you guys the equipment that I do use because I get a lot of questions of oh, what camera do I use. So I'll show you that right now and we'll check out the bag even though it's not the same color but it's fine. It'll do. So this was the first camera I ever got a Canon Rebel T3. Got this as a high school graduation gift. Absolutely love photography. So this is more of a point and shoot. You can take videos, but you have to focus it yourself. So unless you're getting someone else to record you, I don't use this for like vlogging or anything like that. But I really love this. It takes great pictures. First ever camera. This is the bag that I got with it. Pretty nice. Can keep a lot of things in there. And then there's just a long strap that goes over it. I have two memory cards. One is in that camera right now also have another memory card for this one. This first tripod extends to about a foot. Pretty good. I like this one. It's tiny and can wrap around equipment pretty well. Like that. And this is what you guys see me use all the time. So, more of a camcorder. So it opens like that. Has the battery pack on there pretty easy. This can flip and fold as well. So That's that. Wasn't too bad. I got this as a bundle. Came with came with this, a memory card, and this case. So this is my main camera. And then this is the tripod I recently got from Staples. It was only like 15 bucks, so it's a little bit stronger. And it does bend, which is pretty nice. And then camera case. I like it because it's nice and small. It fits the camera right there. Put my memory card in there. Another pocket. I also have another tripod, but I keep it in my car because I usually take that when I film myself in the gym and then it's just too big to keep in my room since I do share a room 
but it gets to about 72 inches, two extensions on the tripod. And again, it's like 72 inches, so it's perfect for setting up for when I'm working out, but that's in the car, so I can't show you guys that. But that's what I use. It is, you know, been a lot of money, but it's worth it. You can always find cheap things on Amazon or discount codes, trade in things. You can buy stuff in bundles. So I highly recommend it. That's what I use. If you guys have any questions, just leave that down below. And hopefully you did get something out of that. I know I get a lot of questions about what I use, what do I recommend, and that's what I use. It gets the job done. So short and sweet. See you guys in the next clip. This hair does not want to cooperate today. You ever have one of those days? This piece. Anyway, when you have a majority of your stuff done for the day, what do you do? You start packing. It's just way too nice not to be outside. On a Saturday, this is when I wish my house had a porch or a deck, but as you can see, no porch or deck, just a few stairs. But it's beautiful, out. it's five o'clock and it's still so sunny, so nice out. I've been packing or doing an assignment all day long, packing, doing an assignment, packing, doing an assignment. I just wanted to get outside for a little bit. We have the windows open in the house. Which is nice, but it's not the same as being outside. But I digress, I'm talking way too long. Focus for this video is to keep it short. So I'm putting out a lot of long videos. If you guys like long videos, let me know. If you prefer shorter ones around like seven to nine minutes, let me know that. I mentioned my macros changing for today just slightly, not because it's my rest day, just because I wanna keep progressing in this cut. One thing I did know with my carb cycling is when I did high, low, high, low carbon, alternating that way. I get very, very little fiber on my low carb days because I'm not having very many carbs. So yes, that makes sense. And the next day, you know, my fiber jumps up really high, then it's really low, then it's high and low. And when I say low, I mean it, sometimes it's like nine grams. And then on my high carb days, sometimes it jumps up to like 30, 35 grams. I have noticed that that messes up with my system a little bit. Maybe that's TMI, but I try to be very transparent with you guys. And actually before I was about to come out here and do this clip, I read in a comment that the person appreciates so much how, tr how transparent I am in my videos and that honestly made my day because that's what I try to do. These videos are, yes, entertainment and I enjoy doing them, but it's also a way for like my diary, my journal, and I can look back at these and see my progress. So yes, I'm transparent. I'm gonna show you how I look, how I feel, tell you all that stuff. Hopefully you enjoy that, but back to my fiber issue. So yeah, it might be TMI, but I think going from 9 grams one day then to like 35 the next day messes up with me just a little bit. So today my macros that I'm aiming for was 175 grams of protein, which is always the same, very consistent, 200 carbs and 50 fat, and that'll get me to 1,950 calories, which still puts me in a deficit. Before I was eating around 2,100, about roughly. So now I'll be at 19.50. So I think, you know, I'm making slow decreases, but I'll still be at a good average for the end of the week. And that is the goal. You guys will see all that come together in my recap video Monday morning at 9 a.m., just like always. And then that way, like today, my fiber will be at 25 grams. So if I can be around 25, 30 average on every single day, I think that's gonna help with my system personally. Now someone, if you're watching this and you want to carb cycle and you've seen me carb cycling, and talk about how great it is and then now I'm not totally switching. It's just I wanna get my system back in check is because with my intolerance being bloated and you know, bathroom stuff, that does happen for me very easily, where someone, they might have zero digestion problems. 
and going from 9 grams of fiber to 30 day after day might not mess with you at all. It just everyone is different so I can't say that what I'm doing is going to work for you and what you're doing is going to work for me and what she's doing is going to work for him. It's trial and error so I'm just giving this a try today. Hopefully it helps with my system but that is about it. I'm going to stop talking, going to end this video. I try not to talk too much in the videos but sometimes it just happens and you guys seem to respond well but thank you all for watching this video stay tuned for the next one just like always we got a few more left of the daily uploads being very busy with all of that so like comment share subscribe if you have not already and as always have a great day